And today was another busy day for Kamala Harris as she continued campaigning for president in Indianapolis. ABC 10's Jeannie Nguyen is here to share with us what Harris is promising to voters and how some people are responding. Becca, many strategists have already said that Kamala Harris will use her position on Roe versus Wade to attract voters. And today she made that one of her promises to restore those rights. Still, analysts believe this will be a tight race to the White House. With your support, I am fighting for our nation's future. Vice President Kamala Harris stayed focused on her campaign on Wednesday as President Joe Biden delivered remarks on why he's no longer seeking re-election. Republican analysts telling ABC 10 his decision to drop out and endorse his VP most likely started with a debate against Donald Trump. The debate had a put a major, um, it, it put a lot of space between Donald Trump and and. Uh, and and President Biden. And so, you know, I do think that the, the Democrats were scared. Following Biden's endorsement, Harris quickly started her campaign. Democratic strategists say they believe one of her tactics will be her stance on abortion rights. I think women uh, on, on, on the Roe v. Wade issue, she's going to be there 100 percent, and I think she's going to draw out a lot of women to vote. During her appearance in Indianapolis, Harris criticized Trump's involvement in overturning Roe v. Wade. When I am president of the United States, and when Congress passes a law to restore those freedoms, I will sign it into law. But Trump's running mate, Senator J.D. Vance, doubled down on issues currently impacting the community. I have people who've worked for me who make good salaries and they can't afford to buy a house mm -hmm. in the Kamala Harris economy. Now, state campaign finance, finance records show in 2014, Donald Trump donated $6,000 to Kamala Harris's campaign for California Attorney General. Records also show both Donald and Ivanka Trump donated $3,000 total to Gavin Newsom in 2009, Becca.